Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 14 QPR2 Beta 1.1. This is just a minor update, only 10 megabytes. Don't expect any new features in this video, but I would like to share with you my experience with the QPR2 Beta versions in general after using it for the past few days on my Pixel 8 Pro. I will talk about the bugs, the fixes, the battery, and the performance. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the bug fixes after installing beta 1.1. With the first beta, I was getting extremely laggy scrolling experience, and it becomes even worse if I'm playing something in picture-in-picture -picture view and then scroll in any other app. Even inside YouTube itself, if I have the mini player and then explore other videos, it becomes extremely laggy. But thankfully, beta 1.1 is significantly better in this area. It's still not perfect. I see some lag here and there, and I wish Google will keep improving this in the future, but at least it's much better than beta 1. Now let's talk about the bugs I still have, and there are quite a few of them. The first one is in the wallpaper and the style app. When I try to set any wallpaper, I get this black bar on the side, and beta 1.1 didn't fix this issue. The second one is the broken drag and the drop feature. So for example, when I try to hold this photo and then go home, as you see, it's now gone and I'm not able to drop it anywhere else. And the same applies to text. Expanding the notification shade is a bit laggy, especially if you have the media player activated. And if you take a look closely here, you will see the quick settings tiles are lagging when I expand the notification shade. Also, when I lock the device, the fingerprint illuminates briefly for some reason before going to the always on display. Assistant voice typing all of a sudden stopped working and when I go to settings and then voice typing, it's a grayed out. Even though I didn't change anything in my language or region settings, I'm still using the English US language and I'm expecting it to work normally. But unfortunately, it's a grayed out and I'm not able to fix this problem. The gaming dashboard is broken and when I tap on the floating button, nothing happens. Even when I tap on this one, still it doesn't open. Under the wallpaper and the style app and then more wallpapers, this page doesn't scroll smoothly. As you see here, when I scroll back up, it jumps weirdly and this is one of the exceptions when it comes to scrolling. So that's it when it comes to the bugs. Now let's talk about the battery and the performance. And here I have some good news. If you take a look at this example, I got seven hours and 53 minutes of a screen on time and my battery usage was still at 10%. I started to use the phone about 1 p.m. till 11.20 p.m. at night. Uh, if you take a look here at the apps I used, I used YouTube for three hours and 36 minutes, Messenger for 27 minutes, X for one hour and 34 minutes. Uh, I used WhatsApp business for 19 minutes, Google Maps for one hour, 18 minutes, 11 minutes, Google Chrome, 19 minutes, keep notes. So it was a heavy usage day and I'm still getting seven hours and 53 minutes, which is great. If you take a look here also at the uh, CPU usage and mobile network, I used mobile network and Wi-Fi side by side. So it was mixed usage. And that's, in my opinion, a great battery life. When it comes to the performance, the phone is pretty fast and responsive. Even when I open apps from scratch, as you see here, they load instantly. And that's the case with each and every app I use. So I don't have any performance issues with this build, but only beta one was giving me the impression that the phone is slow because of the poor scrolling experience. Thankfully, beta 1.1 doesn't have this problem. So you're gonna feel that the performance is great. Also, the phone is cold to the touch and I don't have any thermal management issues. Before ending the video, let me show you a couple of minor tweaks when it comes to the biometrics. It seems like Google is trying to give the user more information about the failed attempts to avoid this from happening in the future. In this case, I got a message saying face covering detected, your face must be fully visible. And that will give you an idea about the reason why your face unlock failed. Also, when I tap on the fingerprint Quickly, it says here, press firmly on the sensor, which is also something new to me. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my experience with Android 14 QPR2 Beta 1 and Beta 1.1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.